In terms of Northern Ireland business being able to prepare for these VAT and customs changes, again, it's, we don't have that much time, five months to go. Um, the VAT concerns, um, they haven't been highlighted as much as the customs concerns, so there will be a new way of operating VAT from Great Britain into Northern Ireland, and they will be treated as exports and imports for VAT purposes. So businesses need to get clarity from the UK government on that. In terms of the customs changes, which there has been more discussion around, but again, the, the operational aspects of the protocol, we still need clarity on key issues around unfettered access, about uh, customs declarations, exactly how we'll do them within the businesses. And again, at-risk goods, we need to know what goods are at risk and therefore potentially a tariff applicable and what goods can be on the not at risk and therefore they can come in as freely as they do today. Yes, well again, in terms of free trade agreements, uh, to date Northern Ireland businesses probably haven't thought too much about it because we're part of an EU customs union. But after the transition period, um, that will no longer be the case. So currently, Northern Ireland businesses will rely heavily on accessing EU free trade agreements. And after transition, that won't be the case. And therefore, we need to know whether there is a solution to that, that problem. Um, can there be bilateral agreements so that Northern Ireland can be added into those agreements? As well as that, it's not entirely clear um, how Northern Ireland businesses will be, be able to benefit from accessing UK free trade agreements that may be uh, struck in the future.